It's like I need in here. Happy New Year to all the saints out there. Happy New Year to all the saints out there. Yes. Um, we are praying with you. Private chef services, delivering kingdom business. What to the what, what, what? Period. Yes, that is period in Christ Jesus' name. Yes, now the new year, we will go into a new segment we would like to call Being Victorious with Christ Jesus. Yes, Being Victorious with Christ Jesus. We will take Psalm 119 and break it down into sevens. And when we break it down into sevens, we will pray on them so they will come into reality into our lives. Are you ready? Are you ready? Because like Eileen is always ready to pray with you, you, because God put us together so we could have victoire sous Satan. He has a victory over the enemy, and that is what we stand as, by as believers, right? Or am I wrong? I'm right. <laughs> so now, we will go into Psalm 119, and we're going to break it down into sevens. And we will feast on the word because he is the word. Because in the beginning was the word and the word was him. Yes, it is. So now we will go into our being victorious with Christ Jesus. Yes, yes. You ready, ready to read the word, word. <laughs> All right. So Psalm 119, 1 through 7. And it reads. Happy are all who perfectly follow the laws of God. Two, happy are all who search for God and always do his will. Three, rejecting compromise with evil and walking only in his paths. Four, you have given us your laws to obey. Five, oh how I want to follow them consistently. Six, then I will not be disgraced, for I will have a clean record. Seven, after you have corrected me, I will thank you by living as I should. With you, yes, we are always ready and willing to pray with you. We will always be ready to summon the presence of the Lord over every situation over our lives. Yes, we are. So, are you ready? To get into this prayer, being victorious with Christ Jesus, that is always the goal in this life, and we will have our eternal life when we get there. Are you ready to pray? Let's get it. All right. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Heavenly Father, great blessings belong to those who live pure lives. They follow the Lord's teaching. Heavenly Father, grant us the ability to live the pure life you established for us since the beginning of time. You have the plan to have your son make his destiny known when you sent him down to die on our behalf to make our crooked path straight in Christ Jesus name Heavenly Father I pray we remain in the path you laid out for us you know the plans you have for us plans to prosper us not to harm us plans to give us hope and a future in our mighty God Heavenly Father Heavenly Father Heavenly Father, we come before your throne. Heavenly Father, we will, have, we will have no other name known but yours because you are the great God. Father, we bow down before your throne. Heavenly Father, great blessings belong to those who follow your rules. Seek him with all their hearts. Heavenly Father, grant us the ability to follow your rules in living all in all of the fruit of the spirit that you've given that you've given us here on earth heavenly father heavenly father heavenly father we call down on your name heavenly father grant us the ability to seek you and only you with all of our hearts with all of our hearts with all of our hearts help us get rid of everything in our hearts 
so we can have room for you, our mighty God, our mighty God, our mighty God, our mighty God, so we can have room for you, our God, so we can have room for you. Thank you, Christ Jesus, because you reign. Thank you, Christ Jesus, because you reign over our home and over everyone who calls on the name of Christ Jesus. Lord, you gave us your instructions and told us to always obey them. Heavenly Father, please continue to guide us so we can continue to make your word a home in our hearts, Father God. You said your grace is sufficient and grace and mercy are always following us all the days of our lives because our Heavenly Father, in whom we trust, in whom we trust, did what he did for us on Calvary when he sent his son to do his destiny. So Heavenly Father, you have given us your laws to obey. So let us obey. Let us obey in Christ Jesus' name. Let us obey in Christ Jesus' name. Let us be faithful in obeying your laws. Oh, Heavenly Father, love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves. Love never fails. For God so loved the world, he gave us Christ Jesus, who reigned over us. Heavenly Father, give us the ability to follow your laws consistently in the name of Christ Jesus. We can cannot do this without the trinity system so trinity system show up and show out in our lives show up and show out in our lives because it's in you guys the same that we trust you had to give us the ability give us the same obedience towards our heavenly father who are in heaven oh heavenly father help us be faithful in obeying your laws help us be faithful in obeying your laws your laws are love is patient love is kind it does not envy it does not boast it is not proud it does not dishonor others it is not self-seeking it is not easily angered it keeps no record of wrongs love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth it always protects always trusts always hopes always preserves love never fails love never fails love never fails love never failed it would not fail us because it's never failed and show out in our lives so we can follow the path that you have put before us. You have put this path before us so we can follow you, Heavenly Father. Guide us to be more faithful in obeying your laws. You are the way, the truth, and the light. Heavenly Father, guide us to never be ashamed when we look closely at your commands. You commanded as us to love because love is who you are love is who you are we will not be disgraced for we have a clean record because we choose your word and your ways at all cost you chose us so heavenly father thank you for it all and we want to feast on your word so we can so we can so we can come up empty and you will be able to fill us up with everything that is of you. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, we want to be filled up by the mighty God. We want to be filled up by the mighty God. Oh, the more we understand how fair your laws are, the more sincere I want to praise your holy name. We praise you, God, and give you glory because you are our God. Heavenly Father, after you corrected us, after you corrected me, we will thank you by living as we should. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you for allowing us to pray with you. P.S. P.S. Go, grow, glow in Christ Jesus' name and activate your armor in Christ Jesus' name as well. Go in peace, blessings, blessings, blessings to you and yours.